In this video, I'll be showing you a typical day in my life with my two lovely Latina girlfriends. Today, I'm here with Camila and Nani, and we went to a grocery store and compared some prices and the cost of living and what it's like to be in Colombia. So last night, Nani, she said that she was going to cook us an arepa. Well, arepas are pretty basic, but Nani is from Venezuela, and she offered to make us like a dinner version of the arepa. So I don't even know what to expect. Hopefully it's good. In Colombia, you kind of just walk in the middle of the street and hope for the best, that cars just don't hit you. See, they just kind of stop if you just walk. I am Colombian. I'm Colombian now, I'm invincible. I live in Nikia, which is like in the northern part of Medellin. And in Nikia, I'm very far away from all the touristy places. I'm very much integrated into the local life here. As you can see, it's really cool. It's not what you expect when you say Colombia to Americans. It's very much different. The girls are leaving me. I'm trying to catch up to them. A grocery store called Exito. Exito is like similar to like a Walmart or a Target. I'm gonna go find some supplies in this place. I'll be saying the price here in Colombia and converting it to dollars. What's wrong? Looking for a cart. A cart? Can you just take one of these? Can we? Yeah. And just we're gonna just jack this cart. Mm, 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 mm. I have a Colombiana and a, how do you say it? Venez Venezuela? Venezue Venezolana. Venezolana. So the reason why I'm making this video is because uh, I find it very interesting to compare cultures to different countries. It's very cheap here. Obviously, there's an economic difference here in this country. Uh, it's not as big as some Asian countries, but it's significant enough to make like impactful change in somebody's life. A lot of people kind of like ask me on the down low, like, oh, how much does it cost to live here? And I guess the first part of that is just like the groceries. So that's why I'm making this video today. So look at this. This is a huge thing of bacon. And this entire thing right here, 45,000 pesos, which is like a little bit over like 10 bucks. Some hamburger meat is around like four bucks, a little bit over four bucks. This really big lump of chicken breast. I think there's like eight pieces in here, which is around like eight bucks. Steak, 10 bucks for that big thing. This is a rotisserie chicken, five dollars. Oh, so which is really weird. Uh, I've never had milk that was in a bag. Colombians drink milk that's in a bag. I've never experienced that before. Wow, so this portion of milk right here is a dollar. This is one dollar. In the United States, like an entire gallon is like maybe like five dollars, I think. So like this thing of orange juice is also a dollar. How much do you guys think a pack of this beer? It doesn't say, it doesn't say the price. Well, this right here, one pack of these is five bucks. I need to look for the girls. I, I got lost. Oh, they're at the produce section. What are you guys getting? Avocado? You know, avocados are really expensive in America. Yeah. So one avocado is a dollar here. In America, I'm pretty sure like these avocados are like five dollars. It's 20,000 pesos in America. 20? Yeah. One? Yeah. How much is an apple, you guys think? Oh, actually an apple is expensive. Well, that's like a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty for an apple. Obviously, it's in a grocery store. I'm pretty sure you can get it cheaper at like a flea market or something. As I'm talking to the camera, I have completely lost the girls. Oh, I found them. Yeah, I like this one. I have this one. Okay, get both. Let's just. Oh wait, is this the chicharron? So in America, they're called pork rinds. I think this is better. This isn't better. We're having a sleepover, right? A little pajama party. Yeah. yeah, so get all the snacks you want. The girls are wanting to have a pajama party tonight. And it's gonna get a little spicy. I'm like, okay, you can have a pajama party. Get whatever you want. <laughs> so we're gonna have some fun. Oh, why are you so excited, Nani? Fine. <laughs> oh, eggs are here. Wait, you know what? That's, that's really weird. In Colombia, the eggs are just out. They're not cold. For you. Why? In the USA, it's cold. It's always cold. You always put the it's eggs it's in the fridge. It's because it's old. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's weird that eggs are just out and about and not in the fridge. So here, this entire thing of eggs is uh, three dollars. So it's a dollar. It's it's about a dollar per dozen. I was looking for the eggs earlier, and I was like, where are they? And I forgot that the eggs are just not in the fridge here in this country. Pancake mix, Aunt Jemima. She's still black here in Colombia, so that's that's a good sign. This is three dollars. 
a pack of Red Bull, six bucks. Vienna sausage, a little bit, like a dollar twenty-five. This is looks like normal red. It's like a dollar and ten cents. Look, it's Frosted Flakes. Tony the Tiger. It costs. Oh my gosh, it's expensive. It's like six bucks. This is this is six dollars. This is how much you would pay in America. Wow. I think it's the same. It's okay. It's a, if you want it, we can have it. But, but yeah, you can get the you bigger one. Much. Just get the big one. Okay. Always just get the big one. Get the get the industrial size. <laughs> bigger is better, yeah. Claro que sí. Yeah. Por what? Okay. Well, you're gonna be very disappointed <laughs> with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bigger is better. Pack of wipes, three bucks. Diapers, four dollars. Can of Lysol, like four dollars and fifty cents. Ten dollars for this big thing. So this really cheap detergent is like two dollars, a little bit over two dollars. And then you get like really expensive ones. This is like fourteen bucks. <laughs> it's actually pretty expensive. All the nice look cat food, ten bucks. The wet cat food is like seventy-five cents. Like a really, really big bag of dog food, ten dollars. Six pack of cola, three dollars and fifty cents. That's like really cheap. Oh wow! All the candy is like under a dollar. Seventy-five cents, fifty cents, twenty-five cents. Some really expensive can candies can go up to like two bucks. Ramen, fifty cents or sixty cents. Literally sixty cents. Sixty cents. Everything is like sixty cents here. So I try to find some TV dinners, but like they don't have TV dinners here. But I don't know what exactly. What They're like how do I describe it? It's like show yeah, me here. Okay. So you buy these in the mall or yeah, in so, the pub? Yeah. If you're like alone or like you want just want something really fast buy this and throw in the microwave or the oven real quick no. and then you know it, they're just called TV dinners or frozen meals yeah no that doesn't exist here uh -uh. TV no. dinners don't exist here in Colombia no never my mind has been blown okay the last thing is uh peanut butter and jelly peanut butter and jelly it's for sandwiches this is not typical here really oh i should make one for you really i yeah. never eat it peanut butter and jelly really? it's for yeah, children i, I see in the movies in the breakfast yeah so it's not a Oh, peanut butter. How much is peanut butter? Wait, no way. This is expensive. Four dollars. So this is actually more expensive here than uh, the U.S. And Nutella is almost ten dollars. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. So uh, don't get peanut butter in Colombia because it's really expensive here. But I definitely still want to make you a uh, peanut butter jelly sandwich. Uh, that's it. Finish? Yeah, finish. Let's finish with the groceries. All right. I think we're heading to the checkout. Is Colombia cheaper? In America, I think obviously we are in a supermarket that's very similar to Walmart. But yeah, I think overall it's definitely a lot cheaper. So we're gonna get a total of all the groceries that we spent, and you guys can do like a little cost of living comparison analysis if you guys want. You have everything for a rapist? Sí, sí. Okay, vamos. Oh my gosh, this is 25 cents. Yeah, this is a big banana, right? This is big. What? This is this is above average, right? Yes. Right? This is grande. Yeah, it's grande. It's grande? <laughs> sí. Okay, I'm just making sure. <laughs> Nani? 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 Wait, so can you remind me what's your favorite anime? No, me gusta los anime. You don't like anime? No. Why is your name Why Nani? Your name is Nani. <laughs> I've been making this joke the entire time and you don't even like anime? Oh my god, I'm so, I feel so stupid. <laughs> you don't have fandoms? BTS? Me, mom, mom. Oh, your mom loves BTS. I should show up. I should meet yeah. your mom. So this is what happens. So you you take me to your mom, okay. and then she's like, "Who is this?" And she's like, oh, "Marry him, marry him, marry him." Wow, four hundred and fifty thousand pesos. That's one hundred and eleven dollars. So after we were done buying all the groceries, we headed home. I am mad. Okay. You could pay for a taxi, maybe like a dollar. And the girls wanted to cook arepas. One of them is Venezuelan and she wanted to prepare it like Venezuelan style. They made the buns and for the fillings they used avocados, onions, and chicken. And the arepas turned out really good and it was Stuff. amazing. <laughs> nice. Ooh, yeah. For you. <gasps> made, made in love. Oh, made with us. Made, made with, with, made made with love. love. With love. Alright guys, so these 
are the Arepas, Venezuelan Arepas that uh, Nani made for us. So that sums up our video today. We showed you the cost of living at the grocery store here in Colombia. Uh, I hope you liked this video. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section below and what you guys want to see in the future. Till next time. This is big. It looks like a culo. Look, it looks like a butt. Pechuga. Oh, brass, boobies, tetas. <laughs>